So, uh, I recently noticed after <laughs> looking through my videos that I start every video with the word OK, so I'm not going to do that this time. Yeah. Alright, so, this is the next battle. Um, this is the battle for Vallejo's Gate during the end times. So, basically, what happened is uh, the dwarves have finally found Vallejo's Gate, which we'll say is this place even though it really isn't. And, um, the vamp uh, basically Neferata discovered it a very long time ago and found a lot of incredibly great treasures of the dwarves and wanted to give them to the gash, but the dwarves have just found them. So, the undead army, this time led by Krell, uh, ignore the necromancer once again, I had to put him in there. Um, will it has to try to break through the dwarves and finish them off. Now, Krell's army was quite small last time, but on their journey down, they were turning the dead men of Stirland into zombies, which is why there is a gigantic zombie horde this time round. Uh, in addition to this, there are the blood beasts, which are this trio of Vargos. Uh, you can't mount one on it, but we'll say the Strigoi King Druthor is on this, and with him came his hordes of crypt ghouls. And then of course there's Krell himself, and Ulfric the Black-Handed. Now, basically we just have to destroy the dwarves, so I hope you enjoy this. Now this is a dwarf army led by Thoric Ironbrow and backed up by King Cazador. I have quite a lot of artillery as well. Well, a decent amount. This was only supposed to be a small expedition, and, uh, well, then the undead turned up. It happens. So, let's get this started. Send the shambling hordes forward. Zombies are incredibly expendable, so... There's no point not doing this, really. And they're incredibly slow as well. It doesn't really matter if they all make it at the same time either. I could pause the, the game and go that way, but... To be honest, they wouldn't really reach them at different times. I tried to, once again to get the forces as accurately as possible. See what they actually had. Now, of course, if you've read it, uh, you'll know that what also happens is a goblin army charges in as well. Uh, the remnants of the goblin army from the ambush, but there's no three player battles, so we can't do that, unfortunately. It would have been fun, but we can't. So I'll have to make do with the zombies so far. Looking forward to fighting the gyrocopters, I've never really fought them before. Let's have a look at the organ going open up. Come on, fire. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. Nice to see. That is quite the zombie order got going on there. Let's see if we can get a nice... There we go. of course. Ooh, there drop the bombs. I think I will send this fellow to deal with them. And I think it's time to send in the next wave. something up. Now, yeah, let's see. The zombies are almost in combat, so here we go. Oh, wow. That was a mess. Nice big close-up on the door. Absolutely destroying everything. 
but the legions of undead. Ford sent in a few criticals. I need to do a lot more damage, a lot faster if we want to win this. He appears to have scared the gyro bomber, gyrocopters. I think. <laughs> Not actually incredibly sure what just happened. What we really need to do is break through to those cannons. I think. It may just be a job for these guys. Well, if he's here, we might as well use him. Probably sent him in too, I imagine. Let's go see what Krell's up to. <clears throat> Awful lot of bubbling going on on the dwarf army. We're almost at the cannons. Oh, and here he comes. He is in. Really chasing those gyro bombers, gyrocopters. You know what? I think it might be a better idea for me to send them against that. There's a grave guard unit here taking a lot of casualties. Need to deal with the runes, I think. doing quite a good job. Oh, Krell's gotten involved. He's ready to enact the killing blow. Oh! That looked painful. Krell, where are you on? You oh, he's dead. Nice. Let's see if you can kill him too.
a big hammer. He doesn't seem to make up his mind as to what he's going to use. Wow, Krell's killed another one. He's really, uh, proving his worth. And we're losing the battle on this side quite badly, so we have to do something about that. Imagine probably has to do something to do with the thing. I think we might have to send him in. And let's just fix Krell, because we don't want Krell to be hurt, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> Krell's being chased by the cannon team. Of course. Maybe we'll send the Vargolf after them, I think. Necromancer's being attacked. Have a go at blowing them up. Oh, that worked. That worked better than I actually thought it would. Now let's see, is Krell in combat? Oh, he is. Here we go. He's running! Get him, Krell! Oh, victory! Victory in the depths. <laughs> the dwarf running from Krell. Oh! Krell has caught him! Oh! That is devastating blow for the dwarves. Okay! So, as you can see, ridiculous amounts of casualties insane levels of casualties that is incredible <laughs> wow that is a lot of dead zombies again look at the wreckage just the cannons left some of them just completely destroyed that was a good battle okay so once again i'll show you the end results wouldn't really call that a Perry victory, considering most of what I lost were zombies. That was a lot of dead zombies. That was pretty incredible. Oh, we can't see how much they killed. Anyway, so that was the Battle of Vallejo's Hall, and as you can see, the uh, undead have carried the victory once again. Although the dwarves did put up one hell of a fight. So, I'll see you next time in the next battle that I can hopefully do. So, see you.